a beautiful 11-year-old girl snatched from her own bed in the middle of the night. Worst nightmare literally just come true. Just two days before Christmas. It's a case that, that shocked all of us to our core. Ripped out from under the covers in her pajamas. That was our Christmas. It was tough. By a monster from within. He was obsessed with Sarah as his target. Sweet Sarah Haley Foxwell, nicknamed by her family, Haley Bug. She hated it. When she hit that age 11, she was like, my name's Sarah, not Haley Bug. <laughs> She's outspoken, a shining star in her sixth grade class in Salisbury, Maryland. Talk to me about Sarah. She comes from a family of nine children, and she was right there smack in the middle, and she was the one that was the referee, the lover, the hugger, the one that always had a smile no matter how bad her day was, she always had a smile. And many days were rough for the Foxwell family. As a single parent, Jennifer was struggling to make it, so Sarah and her siblings were temporarily staying with Jennifer's dad and her sister Amy at this converted barn house. It's been a hard road for you. Yeah, it's been a hard road for all of us. But Jennifer was working overtime, determined to make this the perfect Christmas for all her kids. Everybody wanted these weird things for Christmas that year, and Sarah wanted a pair of Chuck Taylors. I didn't even know what they were. December 22nd, as the sun goes down, the temperature dips below freezing, and snow falling outside guarantees a white Christmas. They were running around the house, goofing off. They had had pizza the night before. Around nine, Sarah and her six-year-old sister, Emma, playfully skip off to bed. The girls share a room at the end of a long hall, right next to the back door. That sweet moment shared by the sisters now haunts Jennifer. Everybody was just being silly because it was literally like two days away from Christmas. Just 10 hours later, Jennifer gets a disturbing call from her sister, Amy. She said, Sarah's not in her room. Her shoes are here. Her jacket's here. She's not in the house. She's not outside the house. We she vanished. She, we don't know where she's at. There was snow on the ground. It was 25 degrees outside. I knew immediately something was wrong. Sarah's family calls the sheriff's department immediately. When you first got that phone call and realized an 11-year-old had been missing, did you get that sinking feeling? We did. Um, it wasn't just a simple missing person call. There was more to this one than, than others. Sergeant David Owens, Sheriff Mike Lewis, and the entire Wicomico Sheriff's Department descend on the old barn house. Terrified, they have a kidnapping on their hands. Every sheriff's deputy this office came back to work. They did not want to spend Christmas with their families while this little girl was still missing. In the chaos, Sheriff Lewis makes a promise to the distraught mom. He puts his arm around me and says, me, I want you to know that I will do everything in my power to bring her home to you. And I looked at him and I said, I'm going to hold you to that. With less than 48 hours before Christmas, they begin desperately searching for Sarah. They were looking inside the house and outside the house for like whether or not somebody broke in. Was there forced entry into the house? No. The front door and all the windows were locked up tight, but when cops checked the back door right next to the girl's room, they walked right in. They also noticed Sarah's green toothbrush was missing from the bathroom. But there was one thing no one could explain. The dog didn't even bark. Then Sarah's Aunt Amy suddenly remembers a key hidden outside for emergencies. She kept the spare key under like this little ceramic frog on the front porch. But when she went to look for that key, it's missing. And little Sarah's family now knows she's in big trouble. The sheriff's office immediately issues a statewide Amber Alert. Sarah has without a doubt been abducted. Once the Amber Alert was issued, I felt like my whole world had crashed. Then it hits them. Whoever took Sarah knew about the key. 
The kidnapper was someone that knew them and where Sarah was sleeping. This is as bad as it can be. Then, out of the shadows, a frightened little voice confirms their nightmare. Sarah's six-year-old sister, Emma, says she has a secret to tell. Emma's telling them somebody took her. She knew him. Up next. She laid there very quietly and listened to and saw everything that went on that morning in that room. Who is he? I really don't even like saying his name. He's the man cops now call pure evil, and Sarah's family invited him in. This man had built trust with this family, and all the while he was building a stage for what his ultimate act would be. It shook us all to our core. It really did.